You clock some boys, you trying to holler at me? What? I mean, have you found your baby daddy yet? Excuse me? What she trying to say is, have you found any boys who are like so totally hot? Well, there is this one guy in my Ebonics class. His name's Trey. 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 Well, who is this fine young <laughs> Trey. Trey Melvin. Trey Melvin. Trey. Melvin. Edward Lee Melvin. Fucking. Whoa! Oh. I'm right here with Trey Melvin. Trey Melvin. You old ass nigga. Everyone can see I have my favorite person in the world here, Trey Melvin. <laughs> Trey Melvin, I love you. I love you, brother. I love you. I love you. I love the fucking love Trey Melvin, and every time I see him, I come on myself. I love you so much. We love you, Trey. We love you a lot, and don't forget. I love you so much, and happy 21st birthday, and turn up, okay? Holla! But I'm gonna let you know, this is what you do to bitches. This is a message, Trey Melvin. Stop it! Okay? I can't take this! My mind's telling me no. But my body, my body's telling me yes. Yeah, see? I have a small heart. I cannot take these levels of excitement. I can't even explain it. Um, I want to thank you, Trey Lowe, for coming and talking to me. I'm so happy still. <laughs> oh my god, Trey, Trey. Hi. Oh my god, I can't believe you're actually here. This is so amazing. Oh my god, is anybody, is anybody else with you? I got friends. I think that he be sitting back on Twitter and he just be like, I'm about to make this bitch lose her mind. What the fuck? <laughs> Watch me make this bitch lose her mind. Oh my goodness, I don't know that right now. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, I, uh, People say that I'm thirsty for Trey Melvin. So I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to like go out some. Wait, Trey, what are you doing now? The ball, bitch. watching her videos in January of this year. He's been out for like two years, I think. Um, what's sad about this whole situation is that I discovered Trey Melvin like three months ago. What? When I first discovered him um, a few months ago, I don't know why, I just am discovering him. Thank you for everything you've done for me in the past year or so. Not even a year, like a year and a half, whenever I started watching you. And the first episode I saw was Watermelon Melandre's Ghetto Christmas Carols. Or the Bible tells me so. Bitch, the Bible lies. Jesus do not love you. Not with that raspy ass voice. Why it seem like every black girl thinks she can sing? Especially fat black girls. Bitches think just cause they black that they automatically got some soulful ass vocal cords. Bitch, your voice sound like a bag of- Hello, and welcome to Ghetto Wood. Hi, my name is Mo Shaniqua Tay, Sasha Quetta, Bonquisha, Frile Chautauqua, the fuck you looking at, stank ass little nigga Quashayla Brown. Yeah. Shout out to my empty ass wallet one time. <laughs> Versace, Versace, I'm rapping about it, but ain't got no money. You play the ghetto mom who did the ghetto lullaby. Remember that school levy that y'all voted no on? Well, I kind of fitted the vote, so it passed anyway. From Melvin be like, we should get the there. Ah, man. Bottom of Andrea. And the girls and the boys got the pieces to them puzzles, and sometimes... I wish nothing but the worst. For you. Versace, Versace, Versace. I can't even spell out Versace. Versace, 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 Versace,
The government was talking about some, um, spend that money on new textbooks. I was like, nigga, the fuck? Like, why would we do that? We ain't even got old textbooks. We just got books. They ain't got no text in them. They blank. Um, it feels good. It's, it's, it's a great to have so many fans around the world, really. Right. Just knowing, just waking up every morning and knowing that I have people around the world that love me and appreciate me and that they support what I do. So. There's terrible texters, there's bad drivers, of course. Burger flipping people. We like to separate the bad kids from the better kids. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Because you know, I should be raining. I got that wet, wet. No homo these days. Let's go with Nicki Minaj. Really? Why Nicki Minaj? <laughs> she albino, but she could get it. Doing the Don't Judge Me cover, it was amazing. It was just beautiful. I loved every minute of it. It was awesome. I'm a huge Chris Brown fan, so when you did that song and you made it sound like that, I could say, what? Let me find out. How many licks does it take to get to the center of my dick? I'm going to assume that you're referring to my dick. Well, as most of you know, I got a big dick and know how to use it, so yeah, it takes quite a few licks. Lastly, it's time for quote of the week. This week, it comes from Trey Melvin's 21 Getaways to Die. He said, you eat an alphabet soup and you choke on the D. <laughs> Kiss me every time, Trey. He's fine. What else do I need to say? Oh my god, you are fine. His lips, his eyes, his voice. His voice is so amazing. His eyes are gorgeous. He just pretty from here to come. Talk to. It's like the American dream or something. I mean, like, he's wonderful. If I see him three days, I'll be fucking beautiful. I think he's really funny. And plus, I think he's cute. Look, babe, no. First of all, let me start off by saying that you are a very sexy man. Like, you are really, really cute. Besides the fact that he's attractive, his whole motherfucking being is just the motherfucking shit. Who don't Ain't that though. the truth? Girl. You're perfect, and you're just, yeah, you're perfect. And to those people who, for whatever reason, do not like Trey Melvin, you know what I want to say to those people? Ah, well you suck. You can't talk with us. Oh, you better recognize. Nasty bitch. Bitch. No. Bitch. Who the fuck is this? Huh? Get the fuck out of my house with your stank ass loose pussy. Act the nerve. The audacity, the premeditated go! Man, she don't even go here. Nigga, you about to get left. Johnny, sit down! Where my belt? The fuck, you trying to get your ass beat? Thirsty. Musty booty nasty trick. Got my ass beat for talking shit. That's what she get for talking shit. Really, bitch? Slut. So dumb. She is really dumb. For real. Ain't no Twitter even though I still get allowance for money. Bitch is over. Hi, Trey. Um, I just wanted to say that I love you so much and... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you I'm thinking I can sing Cause it is auto-tune But I really can So happy birthday, my nigga Happy birthday, dear Trey Melvin. Why are you 21 for no reason? Happy birthday to you, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday! Hey! 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 Oh
Happy birthday. Have a good one. Bye. I thought this was just going to be the tray. This isn't like a private message to him. This is for anybody to see. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Trey. I just wanted to wish you a happy 21st birthday. And I wanted to let you know how big of an inspiration you are to me. Hey, Trey Melvin. I just wanted to say that I love your videos. I love every single thing that you stand for. And I know that you will succeed with the blessings of God. You have helped me through so many rough times. Whenever I'm upset from school, I always come home and I watch your videos. And I'm always happy. And um, you helped me so much. I feel like I know you and so it's close enough, right? But um, you were always there for me. And you are. This is a commentary. You know, like you're putting yourself out there and letting people know this is how stupid you look. Change this about yourself. And if you're not going to change about yourself, don't talk to me. You have changed lives because if you didn't, I, I would still be ratchet but um yeah I, I was a ratchet person like what i'm watermelon drea <laughs> um i love all your videos all of them and when my some of my family had passed away your videos made me smile and laugh a lot it was like a wake-up call after watching your first video i just saw the video for trey melvin's um niggas is days part three and as soon as i saw that video i became hooked I watched every single one of your videos in one day, and ever since then I've become a very dedicated fan to you. You give me hope that there's something bigger out there for me. And I'm so happy for your progress with this as a commentary. Just keep your head in it and your heart in it, and always stay humble. Seriously, you mean so much to me, and I don't even know you, but I feel like I know you. I want you to keep doing what you're doing because it's definitely working. Happy birthday, Trey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Trey. Happy birthday, and thank you so much for making videos, even though thank you isn't a word big enough to describe how thankful I am for your videos. You're my inspiration, and I couldn't thank you more for bringing me with great friends. You don't have any idea how much you motivate us to see somebody around our age on YouTube and just making people laugh, but at the same time being realistic. The same thing we want to do. That just means so much to us. And giving me the inspiration I needed to stay alive. You don't give a fuck about what anybody has to say. Thank you for teaching me that too because it's helped me a lot in life. I just swerve bitches so quick they don't even know what to say. What is your message to all of the haters out there? Here's the funny thing about haters. Haters show you just as much attention as your fans do, if not more. My message to you haters is keep on doing what the fuck you doing. But don't you ever, 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 ever in your motherfucking life let a hater bring you down. Keep in mind that at the end of the day, you making that money. You buying them houses. You buying them cars. What the fuck do the haters got? That's my question to you haters. What do you have? Other than your shitty ass opinion. Your opinion don't pay my bills, bitch. Thank you for that and giving me like encouraging words. First, I would like to thank you, Trey, for being such an inspiration for me personally so that I can make my YouTube videos for being an inspiration to my older brother who does poetry and spoken word because I let him watch your Attention Black People spoken word video and he loved it and so did I. It was amazing, you know? Without him, I wouldn't have learned how to do this. Damn, shorty, you fine. Thank you with your old ass. I'm not necessarily a comedian, but I just so happen to talk about real shit. And usually, considering everybody can relate to that real shit, it's hilarious. Yes. Um, I mean, I try to sit down and I try to think about, okay, what's going to be funny, what's going to make them laugh, what's going to be funny, these jokes I don't about. But at the end of the day, I'm not necessarily a comedian. I just like to talk about real shit. And I like to act. So I have all my different sketches, my different skits, and stuff that I do. And at the end of the day, I just, I just like performing. So Who likes to keep it real, people? I like to keep shit real. Yes. <laughs> You guys need to subscribe to This Is A Commentary. Everybody needs to subscribe and watch every single day of their life because it will keep you laughing. If you're whoever just died, if you lost your homework, anything like that, he will keep you on your toes, crack it up. You just gotta watch his videos. Goodbye and tune in next time for another episode of, uh, what's the name of this? Yeah.